Hey everyone, and welcome to Freestyle Metal X, the newest game that I'm playing. Metal. Metal X. So, like, instead of BMX, it's FMX. Yes, because... They had to figure out what the M could be, so... They made well, it. this game is definitely a very metal game. It features... Well, one of its advertising points is that the soundtrack is the best metal you've ever ridden to. So, Whoa, really? Like they Motley be... Crue, uh, Motorhead, some other bands. Bob Gnarly. Bob Gnarly, that's, yeah. And then check kind, this next guy. Look at that face. Yeah. Wheels, as you can tell. Um, oh, also first, I... Uh, what the fuck? That's not a human. That's the first real doll to ever appear in a video game. That's scary. Yeah. Those eyes. Yeah. Nightmare fuel. And so they got a ninja, and they got some other... What? And then a bunch of characters I hadn't unlocked when I recorded, but... Yo, know, each character is wild in their own way and has some stats, even though some of them... Like, I don't know what strength is. You don't attack people in this game. And then there are bikes, and I think, like, I don't know much about motorcycles, but I think, like, the 125, 250, 400. Uh, well, they're different classes, but I don't know what they mean. Like, when the number goes up, what does that mean? Either way, they're just kind of scattered throughout. They're not in any order. Um, oh, that's all. weird. Not so, even, not even, uh, was it alphabetical even? Uh, four stages. Maybe. Hmm? Did that say four stages? Oh, uh, in the, oh, yeah, the, uh, tutorial. But Holy shit. You don't have to play it, so we're going to Rodeo Rise and check out that face. Uh, Look at that face. I, uh, His name should be Joff Talton. It reminds me of the Wall Smoth image, if you've ever seen that. Yeah. So, uh, in Freestyle Metal X, you go to many levels, and first off, uh, Cindy and I guess her nine identical twins will give you objectives to complete, unless she just teleports around when you're not looking. Because it's like, uh, complete the objectives so that Cindy will like you, and then, I don't know. As you can tell, um, there, were, there are some massive corners that have been cut in this game, namely yeah. the, uh, NPCs, which have about five frames of animation, and I can't wait to tell, um... Oh, and while I, uh, incompetently chase these wolves for, like, a whole minute straight, I guess I can talk about the game. The main selling point of Freestyle Metal X is that it's, uh, kind of open world and that all the levels are connected, which they actually are. In free ride mode, once you've unlocked all of them, you can drive from one to the other, no loading screens. That's kind of cool. And I really love when games do that. Like, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, I loved how big the world was. Sure, you, you know, sure, the, there weren't a lot of missions in some of the parts, but I still loved uh, the exploration of it and just riding around doing my own thing and, you know, listening to the country station because that was the only, you know, time that it ever really connected. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it, I, I think it's really great that uh, Freestyle Metal X does that. However, as I said, there are some pretty big corners cut in the... Uh, everything else department? <laughs> everything else. The animation department, the voices department, like all of the original male characters like that Bob Gnarly, Wheels, and this, and uh, the ninja, whatever, all the same guy. And... The only person that talks within the game is Cindy, and all the other writers have, like, one or two lines. But... I think... So they had a voice acting stat crew of about three? So, I have a question. So you're... Yeah. You're trying to get Cindy to like you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Obviously that's supposed to be... Uh, she's supposed to be hot. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, which is why she's dressed the way she is. So, uh... If you're a, a chick, I saw a couple chicks you could play as. They wow, that's gonna put out the barn. Um, <laughs> I remember that part of, uh, of Red Dead Redemption, um, where you poured a little bit of water onto the corner of a barn, and then everything. Yeah, it just went out. Uh, I saved all the horses like that. Anyway, yeah. so you know, if you're playing as a female character, you're still trying to win Cindy's affections. I assume so, and... Wow! Metal! I mean, it's not affection... It's not really affections, like, by the end of the game, she becomes a your hot girlfriend or something. <laughs> going on at the end. 
No, she's she's just written to be like, hey, I'm gonna give you objectives, and also and I'm gonna jobs. say very, very, and also I'm gonna say slightly misogynistic I things. I mean, not like. Wait, did she say is she a self-hating uh, well, well, she, woman? No, no, no. Whoever whoever wrote her, um, obviously tried to include as much innuendo and hey, I'm a chick. I like money and jewels. And, uh, please buy me Please things. put up with me and buy me. Yeah, it becomes a little more uh, relevant. Uh, not relevant. Relevant. Oh, God, <laughs> it becomes a little more apparent in the next level. Oh, okay. So uh, this is Rodeo Ride and Rise. I keep um, Rodeo Rise, and I believe I think I should explain um, more about this game. You start out as a young farm boy or farm girl uh, who you know rides motocross with his or her dad. And you know, and enjoys life until one day, um, your dad this, dies. This evil like biker gang led by uh, Johnny Demonic comes, and uh, your dad uh, well challenges your dad to a race and murders him. And so oh, you have to. Uh, murdered him. And so you have to. Uh, well, you're gonna go infiltrate that gang and fight Johnny Demonic. So, so it's actually got kind so, of a story. So you start out, you know, doing odd jobs around the family farm where you've lived your entire life until you get enough money to move into the city and then do like more, you know, bigger BMX things. Until you get things. beamed by a steer. <laughs> and then, uh, wait, I did I do the matador cutscene or no, not? Okay, not yet. I really should have because the bulls in this game look so terrible. Like. Like oh I like oh wait wait you mean like where she's introducing the yeah uh, yeah yeah I saw that though. did you see that bowl it's just it like a big block amazing. for a head yeah, it but, looked like like something from but anyway craft. um you so you infiltrate this and then you rise up to the ranks and at the end of the game you challenge Johnny to a race and win your family's honor back you know what would be better than honor what your dad it'd be better if you got your dad back his name is Johnny Demonic it you, sounds like he can bring him back to life you want to know some what. This game has no plot. Oh. You just you just go through levels doing shit, doing tricks. Wow, so that that was some vague innuendo right there. Yeah, it's pretty much going to be that. Um throughout the game. Throughout the game. It's like sort of innuendo, but not cleverly written, no, so it's not just cleverly. I mean, the the lines later on actually get like really awkward in how much they try to stuff in uh, in you and or stuff like that. Stuffing in it. Okay. I'm yeah. yeah. See, I should definitely be a writer for a game like this. Please don't. So, how are the how's the tricking system? Um, tricking system is fairly normal. It's actually kind of like, do you remember Dave Mira 2? Yeah. And how you could do any trick and then modify it into yeah. basically any trick. You can do the same thing here. Um, you can do a trick on the circle button, you know, up or up, up, you know, those are different things. Uh -huh. And then you can modify it by pressing another direction and then the triangle button. So you can do a knack knack, you can do a, a knack knack no hander. But also with some tricks, uh, some modifiers are their own, well, become a new trick that's worth more points and gets your, uh, uh, uh oh. What's it called? I think it's called like the Ratitude Bar. It's so it's wow, such a that is such, it's a such a stupid name. But the bar <laughs> in the top left that allows you to do special tricks, um, you know, like a Superman no hander is a holy man. Like oh. you probably you'd probably have to see it. I I show okay, it up. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Because the game, the game is like you know do that, and in later levels you have to do stuff like that. Um, and so the tricking system does allow for a lot of tricks. Now, you know, there aren't wall rides, and you can't um, do cool tricks when you manual or when you grind. You remember grinding? Oh, yeah, grinding. He showed me grinding briefly. Blank Tester That's has seen me play this game for uh, all of 20 seconds. All of 20 seconds, and in that 20 seconds, I happened to be having to grind, which... In it, this game is, by no one's definition, a grind. It is... It is really, really dumb. Um, the exploration, the ex, the explanation is that your guy is a uh, riding along somewhere narrow, and the uh, balance bar is how close he is to the edges. But it looks so dumb. Like you can whip your guy's ass back and forth <laughs> and not even like, change. Do you do that later? Um, I, I at have, any point. I haven't. You... I haven't recorded the level where I. Uh, did, did that. that in front of you, but I'm definitely gonna remember, and I'm definitely gonna do that again. Yeah, good. Cause it's just beautiful how 
little it really matters, yeah. apparently. Uh, the grinding doesn't really show up in the first few levels. Like, the game only says, hey, you can do this and you should do this around level 4. Uh, I'm gonna do it right here to get across the bridge, ju but just because first time I played this and as I was practicing it, I kept falling off the bridge when I tried to do anything else. Now that was kind of me, um, sort of, but I, uh, also this bridge is kind of tough, so here we go! It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't it. look like it even re re even kind of even matters. makes sense. Like, if your guy, if your motorcycle had gone sideways, and if you were actually, like, sliding along a rail, doing a cool, like, standing up on the seat, or doing a handstand, right, doing, something doing a cool. sweet rail trick or something. And instead your character is riding on that and just looking like a complete And just going, whoa, whoa, jeez. Whoa. Uh. So... Along with the challenges, there's a big air mode where y you go off one ramp and, and then do tricks, or do as many tricks as you can before you hit the ground. You know that previous mode reminded me of uh, reminded me of what game was that? Uh, uh, a lot of the last games, uh, like the other the other uh, fuck what the you you were in a mo on a motorcycle in that in the game. Um, the other motorcycle. Freak game. style. That was yeah. It. Freak, style. freak style. Yeah. The that one level in freak style where you're you've got like all those ramps all over the place and you can just kind of roam around the level. Um. Um. I think yeah, it was like, like, one of the later ones, maybe possibly. Yeah, ones. like the the levels that are for tricking. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah the, that that's kind of how I'm getting a feel for Rodeo Rise, and like similar sort of like you just you're you've got a big area you can ride around. Mm -hmm. and do stupid shit mm -hmm. and not enjoy the game. No. So in uh, freestyle mode, I get to show off more of the tricking and um, the mechanics for tricking, and also uh, this game has some other mechanics called like preloading and other stuff. Basically, it means um, one button kind of charges up your engine or something. Um, if you hold it, you'll see in the bottom right corner, sure I have the speedometer on the left side, that bar that just went up. Yeah. And if I hold it when it goes to all, in, all the way until it goes to red, I can get a burst of speed. And then the shock looking thing to the right, um, well those are my shocks, and if I hold down another button, those compress, and when I release that button it'll let me do a little jump. Oh. So. So, speed up, get a boost right before a jump, then um, do the shock thing, and do that at the top of the jump, and you'll get even more jumps. And when your Ratitude bar is filled up, you can do special tricks. Was that one called the Titanic? That is the lamest uh, special trick in this game, but there are more cool ones like this. And, that one was kind of cool, yeah. And those are usually done by doing three-button press um, tricks, like up, 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 or up up down or up down down basically every variation of ups and downs and then lefts and rights your character starts with 16 uh, special trick options i think and only un and unlocks even more as the game goes on like by the end you can do like 32 different ones wow. for like every single combination so it i mean they're the same ones for each character oh okay but it's not like you're only limited to 3 or 4 well how many characters are there like 10 well um, eight professional racers. Um, so if you if you did then the Johnny Demonic guy, which you unlock by like basically beating the game, and then like seven, eight original characters. Right. So then then I mean, if you've got thirty-two special tricks, that's just a couple per characters. So instead of doing instead of doing instead of having programming it so each character has two or whatever instead all the characters have all the tricks and, and they have the same number of tricks yeah so it may not see it may seem like there well that was kind of cool um it may seem like there are less but there really aren't uh, overall yeah I, I i never felt like there might be less i definitely like how in while doing some massive combo, I can fly off a jump and do four or five different tricks um, before I land, go off another jump, and know that whatever button combination I do will pretty much give me another one. Yeah. Um, through the uh, big air and freestyle modes, I'll just be showing off one 
a run of each and then skipping to the end. Because both of them are, like, you do three and then it takes your best two and averages them. And knowing my extreme talent, I just blow them out of the water every single time. Nice. Because all you have to do for big air is, like, do a uh, combo that is its own trick and then do a special trick if you have the... Uh, Time for, it. time for it and then freestyle mode just uh do a combo as long as possible of course combos you manual or stoppy between jumps but then along with those there is a race in each level the race is probably the race is good at showing off the whole level especially for someone who hasn't played the game right like, so i'm can... sure i haven't gone into the uh more well unpopulated i guess areas yeah. of the level um the game actually makes sure to uh, stretch out its items quite a lot a lot through the level, you may have noticed, but in the air there would be cash I could get, or um, posters I could collect yeah. that are off jumps and you'd need to jump off the right way to get them, or do that, and you can usually find those all over the place. Now, Rodeo Rise is, I think, one of the biggest places, or if not one of the biggest, one of the most spread out. Once you get into the city areas, obviously everything feels a lot more connected. Okay. But, for the race mode, this is, this will show off the whole place for you or for other people who's only, um, what word am I looking for? Who have only seen the game through the video you are watching right now. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't even heard of this game until you told me this was a game that, uh, you were doing. Did I didn't follow up on? Did you? How did you decide on this game? Was it a vote or what? Uh, actually, I I never played the game, and someone linked the uh, oh. game in my thread based off the front cover, which is so dumb. And I will show you after the video. Um, I don't know if I want to do a picture in picture, but it's basically you saw how uh, the Jeff Tilton face was kind of weirdly yeah. drawn. It's like one of those faces with the mouth open. Like, uh, screaming, and then the guy's face put even smaller inside of that mouth, screaming, and then the guy's face oh, put so even... It's, like, it's a recursion type thing. Oh, God. And it's like, all right, you're selling your game based on that. Good that's, job. Uh, good good going. You yeah, know, that's good, on good you. marketing right there. Good on you, uh, Debus Studios. Yeah, yeah, where'd they come up with a name like that? Um, all I can think of is diabetes when I hear it, yeah. but... Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't know what else Debus did. They actually, I actually know one other thing they did because it was just linked in my thread today. It was Greg or not Greg, someone, someone I'd never heard of, Extreme Racer, which was another motorcycle game. So maybe they're another Rainbow Studios and do the same thing over and over, or maybe they were closed down. Probably. Probably. I don't think Freestyle Metal X sold very well or yeah, I, at all. Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah. That was pretty sweet. Kinda obvious, one, plus 100. Yeah, the game also has gaps, but very few of them, and you don't need to worry about collecting them at all. What is kinda obvious? Um, is it the name of the gap? It was the name of the gap for going off the big air thing. Oh. Yeah, that was kinda obvious. Oh, uh, yeah, that was pretty obvious. It would've obvious. been really stupid mm -hmm. if, you hadn't, if you hadn't seen that. What? Oh, like the ramp? The ramp, yeah. Uh, and not gone after that. Right. You'd be playing this game for all the wrong reasons right. if that... If that's what you, know. you were... Yeah. If you bought this game and thought it would be a farm simulator, come on, what do you think? Get back on your what are you Facebook, thinking? Farmville, whatchamacallit. Professional farm simulator. So, that was the race, and I won by, like, 25 seconds, or, no, 30... I always win by 25 or 30 seconds. That's it's, like, all the races... Now, uh, uh, before you finish, I have a question. Do you feel bad for beating uh, beating Jeff Tilton because he clearly has some kind of birth defect? Does that make you feel worse in um, any way? Does that sour your victory? Well, I'm going to have to explain why I'm about to say no, not really. Okay. But... Oh, that's why everybody has birth defects in this game. <laughs> Yeah, Clifford uh, Adaptante unfortunately has a swollen eye that he really should get checked. That's not normal, but buddy. For the races, I, they're so weird. Like, I mean, not really weird, but the AI will keep up with you or pretty much play perfectly for 90% of it. 
And then you'll pull ahead and win by like 30 seconds at the end. Like they always get so it's like a, or it's like they coded slow. it or something so that you'd feel good about yourself because you're like, oh, it's yeah. so tight, it's so tight. Oh, and I won! Yeah, uh, look at that that's, margin. That's probably it. Yeah, it's probably it. They just have them like if they're about to win, they just park right in front of the <laughs> finish line and just wait for you. And then they've got like a one in three hundred chance of just passing the finish line and you lose, and you're like, what? How? <laughs> In that case, you should feel bad about it. Okay, yourself. well, Freestyle Metal X, first impressions? Uh, that looked kind of boring. Really? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, no, that that seemed kind of okay. Eh. Yeah. Not the best game that you've mm. done, but not the worst. Not the worst. Yeah, so that's been Dave it for Rodeo. Rodeo. That's been it for Rodeo Rise, and I'll see you next time in Villa Brava. <laughs>